When preparing for competitions, many students find themselves scouring the internet to see just what it takes to be the best of the best. A familiar face here at FSPA, Christopher Columbus High School from Miami, Florida in District 6. It may seem like another normal night here at Tropical Park, but it's a vital game for the Varela Vipers. Tonight, they line up against the Braddock Bulldogs in their fourth district game. What's on the agenda tonight? Take these dogs to the yard. Hello sports fans, I'm Danielle Malkin. We're here with Varela Sports. We've got no time to waste as we head straight to the field with today's football wrap up. Alberto looking for Ricardo Matos along the sideline. Can he tie it up for the Vipers? Yes, indeed. The reptilian battle will slither into overtime, all tied up at 32. But can the Vipers come out on top? The Heat had six straight wins and nine wins in the month of February. What would you pinpoint as the reason for the team's success? Well, I think just chemistry. Um, everybody's starting to play well. Uh, we're getting to our own right now. In a world where advisors are struggling to keep publications alive, student journalists are stretching themselves between the four pillars of journalism. The new standard, a superstar student who can write, report, edit, and shoot and eventually become a professional with not only the edge over her competition, but as Kevin Ozebeck said, the ability to see the world from a 360 degree view. So these are pretty iconic roles. I know from my research, I had to go back and watch the first Pride and Prejudice. You're stepping into some big shoes. Did you have anything going into that worried about? Yeah, I think there's always a, a pressure and I felt quite intimidated by playing Liz Bennett and wanted to capture all the sort of the detail and the beauty in her character. But what was so exhilarating was that it's it's not Pride and Prejudice, it's Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And As Food Truck Friday remains a staple here in downtown Phoenix, for the vendors and customers alike, it's about more than what's on the plate, but the story behind it. Thanks, Jax. Earlier today, I caught up with All-Star Center Chris Bosch, and in the third quarter, I'll sit down with Eric and Tony to call all the action from Kaboom Town. I'm Danielle Malkin. We'll see you next time.